Hello, my name is Walter Jackson. I'm here at the Baltimore Streetcar Museum and uh, I'm here to show you how the streetcar that we have sitting on static display at the Hagerstown Roundhouse Museum would have operated and um, I had to close the door. Um, the one that we have at the um, Hagerstown Roundhouse Museum is an inner urban car. The one that I'm sitting here at the Baltimore Streetcar Museum was a city car, but I'm here to show you uh, the type of controls that the car that we have would have had. It's very similar. They were both built by the JG Brill Company. Uh, the one that I'm in was built in the 1930s. The one that uh, the Hagerstown Roundhouse Museum has was slightly older but they were very similar in the type of controls that they uh, both have. Similar in that they both ran on, um, um, were both Westinghouse type of controllers and they both had air brakes. What you hear now is the compressor uh, that was, uh, would have been running to uh, give air to the braking system and what you saw me push earlier was the brake the uh, hand hand lever that would have controlled the brakes and also opened the doors. Uh, on this side, you see the controller. It's a little smaller than the one that is in the car that we have on display, but it operates the same way. It has a dead man controller. It also has when you push down, that's the dead man that keeps it keeps the uh, car operating so that if, as long as the operator's hand is on the dead man, the car operates. So if the operator's hand releases, the car comes to a stop. This one has three positions uh, when the car is in motion. And um, so as long as the operator is giving the car power, the car is um, in motion. And then when he throws off, the car coasts. And there is a bell that is on the floor and uh, that lets the traffic know that the car is in motion and also signals uh, warnings to those that um, are uh, in the way that the car is moving. And uh, there we may be able to take a trip here shortly so that you can get a feel for what the car would have looked like when it was operating. So I'm hoping that um, this will give you a feel for how the car would have operated. And I would like to once again thank the members of the Baltimore Streetcar Museum, all of the volunteers who made this possible for us to make this video. And uh, the uh, Baltimore Streetcar Museum, located on Falls Road, uh, is open uh, during the season starting after, after Memorial Day on Saturdays and Sundays from 1 to 5 and that is until November and then in November they are open on Sundays from 1 to 5. And the reason I chose this museum is because they are also located in the state of Maryland and uh, since we are both both the Hagerstown Roundhouse Museum and the Baltimore Streetcar Museum in Maryland. I thought that this would be a good place to, for those of you that are Maryland residents, that you could enjoy uh, something within the state of Maryland as well. And I want to thank you. Now hit record. Okay, it says record. Mm -hmm.
out of the loop? No. One nineteen to dispatch. Yeah, sixty one nineteen. Uh, sixty one nineteen is leaving the twenty eighth Street Loop and coming back to the visitor center. Thanks, Roger. Okay. You ready to go? All right.
we're going to be having a meet with a, another antique car, which is known as a PCC. This car came from Philadelphia. It was built in 1948 by the St. Louis Car Company. And many, many cities in the United States have had some of those. And in San Francisco, you'll find a lot of those still running on the Market Street line. Now what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm going to throw the switch so that uh, we can go up into the loop. I'm going to use the, the, the switch lever to go out and throw the switch. This would have had to have been done in uh, cities where they did not have electric switches. you enjoyed that trip on uh, 6119 at the Baltimore Streetcar Museum and once again I would like to thank uh, my friends here uh, for making 
this possible for me to make this video and uh, I hope that you'll get a chance to come down to this museum and also uh, come back again and visit us at the Hagerstown Roundhouse Museum and of course we're open at the Hagerstown Roundhouse Museum on Fridays from 1 to 5 p.m. and on Saturdays from 1 to 5 p.m. and again on Sundays from 1 to 5 p.m. and we hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much. Okie dokie.